We're in my normal car here. It's the G6. And uh, yeah, 2.2 meters. About seven foot three before you hit the dash. Yeah, that's right. Unlike, well, I, I'm not too sure, but I haven't really tested, and I don't think the older models have the seat fold back like this. Yes, it is pretty hard on the old uh, <laughs> seat cover there, as you can see. She's, uh, yeah, sort of floating about six inches above where it should be, but that doesn't matter. You can take the seat cover off. You get a platform going from in the back there. Out to the front. Now, the reason that's got the little space saver wheel, as you can see in the back there, is because that's the dedicated factory built propane model. Um, yeah, runs out of tank space because they've got a fairly big tank in them. So they've got to put it above like that. But even from the edge of that right back here, you know, 2200. 2.2 meters, seven foot three. And uh, you know, that's a, a right size for your feet in the back there. That's probably only about, oh gee, 16 inches tall or something like that. But that shouldn't matter if you manage to get the ply fairly low down there, or if you're, you know, about 188 like I am, and you're probably, you know, barely even gonna have your feet in there. And uh, yeah, I'm glad the way this come down. Not so good putting that one down because you can't get this down as low. But you know what? I might have to fidget around and see if I can uh, make something up if I really get bored so I can uh, sleep in this because it's about half as much money to run as the equivalent size gasoline engine. So yeah, bit of a thought. I don't really know slash think you could really do anything other than have a piss jug in here I don't think you could fit a porta potty in there but I just thought uh, this is worth showing for uh, the purposes of the sedan camping video